Y'all, I got her in the video with me. Say hi. hi. <laughs> what does that mean? Because you're never in the video. Never, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hey, guys. Um, can y'all see us? You can see you. I'm talking about us, like, together. You're blocking the light, so it's like it's darkness on your face. Yeah. So turn it down a little bit. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Video time. Update time. I know in my last video, um, babe, your arms are longer than mine. You hold it. I don't know where my stick is. There we go. Okay. So, in my last video, I was telling you guys that we ultimately decided that we were going to have a baby. Or, well, y'all know that. But we were going to try again. So, <sighs> so we're going to try again. Look, y'all, I got hot sauce on my shirt. I'm gonna put the hot sauce on my shirt. But I can see it. They probably looking at me like I'm nasty. Don't think I'm nasty. But, anywho, um, so yeah, so I just had my first cycle for this, my first period for this cycle. Okay? And, um, so I'm charting that we're starting there and it's pretty much like starting all over because I'm really thinking about going to a different clinic than we went to. I don't, I'm not, I mean that clinic is okay, excuse me, but I'm not like a big fan of the way that they do things. Um, the fact that they lost information about our donor like important information is like how many count what's his count and things like that like they didn't have that information if you saw our live IUI you you heard the nurse scrambling through papers trying to find that information and we still never found it they still never gave us what our donors count was or anything like that so that was a huge red flag for me um on top of the fact that we never heard anything back from them after um, we did our insemination. It's just like, I don't know, like I have a lot of negatives in regards to that clinic. Never heard from the doctor at all. The only time that we saw the doctor was when we went in for our first. Sorry, but sorry. Hold on. Okay, my bad was when we went in for our consultation. That was the first and the last time we saw the doctor. We were actually inseminated by a nurse practitioner. Um, so that was another red flag for me because I was under the impression that the doctor was going to do the insemination, and he didn't. And I could have done that. Yeah, you could have did. We paid $400 for something my wife could have did. Okay. At home. So... Anyway, so the next thing is, um, I'm thinking like, we're going to have to find another place to go to, another clinic. So I'm going to definitely continue my research and do that. And then we have to find another donor. I'm not going back to the sperm bank that we purchased from simply because um, I don't really have a good feeling about them. I didn't have a good feeling. I mean, I was, I was trying to be cheap. To be honest and I think we pay what 350 for that for that donor I believe um, so yeah so we have to find another donor that's the other thing um, so it's just pretty much starting all over again literally but in the meantime in between time I will be charting um, and figuring out my cycles and things like that not a hundred percent sure if I want to go the medicated route again or if I just kind of want to do it natural being that I know being that I know um, 
my body is capable of ovulating. That was my, my fear the first time because I, I, it just seemed like every time I would test, I was getting negatives, but it just... It's, it wasn't that I wasn't ovulating. I just wasn't testing consecutively long enough. Like, if I didn't have a positive by day, cycle day 14, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm not ovulating. So, I don't, I quit testing. But my body typically ovulates around cycle day 17 through 19. So, it's not that I don't ovulate. I just have to continue um, testing until I get that positive. So I'm really thinking about just doing it natural this time and not doing the going the medicated route with the Clomid and the trigger shot and all that stuff. So that's my thought on it. You have anything you want to say, honey? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as she agrees. She's in the video, but it's like she's not, because she doesn't say it. She never says anything. How many videos have y'all watched and this woman says nothing? There's a whole bunch of videos I'm on that I always talk. Apparently, they comment. Say Our I'm vlogs, funny. but not like when we do update videos and stuff. This is serious life. I don't think that that's funny. You don't have to always be funny. Oh, I'm just saying, that's just my character. I'm a jokester. I think life, for some people, they take it too serious. And in times it should just be fun. So, that's just my thought. Well, yeah. So, anywho. And especially, it's not funny when you spend a lot of money for something as serious as this. And right. You don't have a good outcome. Right. Um, it's depressing. It's hurtful. Mm -hmm. You ask questions why. Mm -hmm. And you know, those questions we ask why we don't get mm -hmm. the answer that we want. Yeah. It's upsetting to you and it's kinda like, should we try again? Shouldn't we try again? What's the best thing for us to do so? Um I kind of feel like, I guess that's my thought. I don't know. I mean, and you would be right, honey. So. Or just my thoughts, that's all. Like I said before in the previous video, I told you guys that we are going to try one more time. Um, so I'm taking it very very seriously because she and I both agree that we're just you know when we went into this we said okay we're gonna give it two tries if it doesn't work just not meant to be and that's gonna be that so we're gonna try one more time and because of that um it's not something that I, I'm going to rush into and just say, oop, I'm going to grab this donor. Oop, we're going to go to this place. Oop, we're going to do it this way. Da, da, da. I'm not doing that. I'm I mean, I have had a lot of offers from friends, coworkers, that they would donate their, their sperm, but, um, yeah, no. It would work for me because, well, one person in particular, because he's, he's an attractive guy. He's not ugly. Ooh. Um, you don't even know. Who he is. I just lost his name. The um, God, we talk to all the time. You ain't been to work in three months. I forgot his name. Ooh. Light skin that we talk to all the time in the Light, stock room. Light skin, LJ. LJ, that's his name. Yeah. Hell no. LJ is a cool guy. No, he is a cool dude, but no. What's you don't like him because he's black. I have nothing against him being black. I just know. She doesn't want an African-American donor. I don't. Period. I don't. For her own personal reasons. And quite frankly, it makes me no difference. Mm. I mean, I'm not really an attractive donor, yes. But as far as like what your eye color is, your hair color, mm -hmm. that is that that's minor, very minute to me. Those are minor things. True. 
But when you choose the person that you want, you get the opportunity to choose. And I guess we all do get an opportunity to choose who we lay down with and have kids with. Some of us do. A lot of us don't. But at the end of the day, I feel like ultimately this is our choice to make. And if I'm going to make a choice, it's going to be a choice of someone that I really truly like. Someone I may not know personally, but I have a good background on that person, their family. Um, so if he, so if he is attractive, has uh, checks out as far as his background and the whole nine, but his eye color is brown, you're still gonna pick him. Hmm. Huh? But his eye color is brown. Mm hmm. What do you mean? I'm I've shown following. you donors. And I'm like, oh my God, he sounds very attractive. I've shown you the baby pictures. He's cute. Blah, blah, blah. You know, checks out in all the other areas, but his eye color is brown, and you say no. Yeah, I don't want brown eye color. All of our children have brown eyes. I don't care. So if, even if we pick a donor. I want the opportunity to have a child that doesn't have brown eyes. Why? That's just my preference of what I like. And this is why it is so difficult for us to pick a donor and a No, it's a not donor. because we've picked a donor that we like from Manhattan Cryobank. Yeah, actually, and we're we paying eight hundred dollars just for a vial of sperm simply because this man has hazel eyes and he's um Puerto Rican and he's cute. So he's very high in demand. So we're paying eight hundred dollars just for his vial alone. So, what do you mean? So we pay money. We we pay money on things uh, that aren't of great necessity on a daily basis to add up to eight eight hundred dollars easily. And like what? we should Groceries be able we, and gas. No, that's a need. That's a need. For who we eat out. Stuff, yeah, eat out. We don't have to eat out. We can save money up to, to do what we want to do. I feel like if you want something, you're going to do what it takes to get that something that you want. But and just, you're going to sacrifice whatever you need because, to sacrifice in order to get what you want. Just so because, if I can't, if I'm going to pay my money, I feel like I want the best of what at least I think is the best. As far as looks go, but that doesn't mean that his sperm is the best. No, but that's why you look in you look into all of that. That's why they have the stats and the, and, the and all that kind of stuff. They don't of what? tell you. They don't tell you the individual count until you purchase. They tell you we guarantee at least ten million. Multi sperm this, after okay, it's this been video washed. Is getting too long. No, I'm just what? saying. They tell you what their guarantee is once the sperm has been washed, but they don't tell you what the individual count is well, you for know, that you particular know, donor until after you purchase. You know what that donor has bore if he's bore any children. It does tell you that. It doesn't how, tell you how many times it took to it, have a baby. It doesn't, but it tells you a success rate. No, it doesn't even give you It tells you he has maybe two or three documented pregnancies right so that's the su three successes but it doesn't tell you how long it took to have those those it doesn't babies. matter just that's just like having sex every time you have sex you don't know whether you're gonna get pregnant or not yeah but you're not dishing out eight hundred dollars every time either it doesn't matter that's what i want to do that's what i'm gonna do if it's coming out of my pocket what difference does it make because it's not just coming out of your pocket it's coming out of our pocket i'm just saying we spend money you spend money okay if you guys watch our videos you see my wife my wife stays made up okay this makeup for those out there that know makeup is not cheap my wife stays online buying makeup ask her how it's much for money. my business hold, though hold on be Prior to you deciding you want to get into a business of doing makeup, you bought bukus of makeup. Matter of fact, how much money have you spent over the past month on makeup alone? Over a thousand? No. Absolutely not. Bull crap. That light alone costs a hundred dollars. So what does that have to do with 
cost anything. I'm just saying that's a hundred dollars. Not along not along those lines, those palettes that you have down there, and those all the brushes. Women, y'all know what I'm talking about. A brush alone could cost twenty five, fifty dollars, depending on what it is. And if you out there buying high end makeup, quote unquote, Mac, I don't, being I don't one have of them, any. I don't have any high end makeup. You don't got no Mac makeup all. over there. I have one bottle of foundation. Okay, and some spray or whatever that we just spent $100 on two things for Matt. No, I didn't spend $100 on Girl, buy. It, it was like that was $80. 40, it was $47 because my foundation was 22 and the bottle of the Fix Plus was 20 My point. So, if I decided we going to wait, we're going to wait a year. You can't you you can't tell me that saving up eight hundred dollars in a year's time is probably gonna take us that long to even find a donor anyway. So, for six months, we can save that up. I don't see no problem with that. I'm not saying that we can't. It's not about the money. It's oh, about what you want. And I I feel like if you go if you want something, you gonna put forth the okay. effort it takes All to right. get it. Okay, me. I'm not gonna argue. Money with is you. not an object. I, I'm not gonna argue with you, woman. Okay, we're not arguing. We're having a conversation. We are having a very heated debate. It's not a debate. It is a debate. It's, it's not. a debate because I don't agree. You don't have to. I don't agree. I'm an individual. But we have to come to some sort of agreement, though. That's that the problem. We, that, that we we're going we're gonna to get a donor that we both agree with, and we found a donor that we both agree with. It just you just don't like the price of it. I'm sorry, but we spent a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of things. Matter of fact, price. this hat alone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Fifty nine fifty. That's a good forty bucks alone, just yeah, for a hat. Yeah, and you got a whole closet of full of them. Okay, well I'm just want, saying. But you want to talk about me and my makeup? But I don't Girl, have I... to have it. It's something that I want. So if if it's something that I want, I'm gonna spend money for it, and that's exactly what I'm trying to express. That's it, and that's all. This video has gone way too long. It's almost twenty minutes long, and we have done whack whole object of this video was to tell y'all that we were going to I like you better. I like you better when you're not talking. Okay. Bye, y'all. <laughs>